The woman put in office to understand the law is now being questioned tonight about the knife on Freddie Gray. And now a defense attorney has been asked to get closer to the evidence. Cheryl Connor is here with more to explain it to us. Yeah, Jamie, a motion filed by the lawyer representing Officer Edward Nero wants to see and inspect the knife for himself. We took a look at that court document where Mark Zayon writes there's no other way to prove his innocence. On Friday, State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby made a bold statement saying no crime was committed when Gray was arrested. The statement of charges says the knife was folded into the handle and was lawful. Three of the six officers face false imprisonment charges. University of Baltimore law professor Byron Warnkin says Baltimore City has perhaps tougher standards when it comes to care carrying a knife compared to Maryland. In a statement, Mosby said the evidence we collected cannot ethically be disclosed, relayed, or released to the public before trial. Mark Zayon would not speak on camera. All right, we wanted to go a little more in depth about this case here tonight. Kurt Nachman is an attorney here with us. Uh, did the st city state's attorney move too quickly on this case, Kurt? It certainly seems that they moved too quickly. Normally, a case like this would take anywhere from, from 60 to 90 to even six months to investigate and fully charge. And why wasn't it taken to the grand jury first? Well, there's two, pl there's two different methods for a case to begin in the state of Maryland. One can be by way of an indictment through the grand jury or... It can be charged in district court by the way of charging document, as was done in this case. Ultimately, the case will have to go before the grand jury, or they'll have to hold a preliminary hearing in district court sometime in the next 30 days. All right, lots been made about the switchblade in this case. Does this really matter? Absolutely. If the switchblade is either a switchblade per se, or a spring-loaded or spring-assisted open or close, it is an illegal weapon, 100%, pursuant to the Baltimore City Code as well as the Maryland Code. Will this evidence be presented to the officer's attorney, do you think? I believe it has to be presented to the officer's attorney. Now, one interesting thing could occur be, as a result of this motion being filed. It could, could cause the state's attorney's office to indict the case early. If they would indict the case, then the motion that was filed in district court would be moot. All right, Kurt Nachman, thank you for clearing it up. Here.